Okay, can we stop now? We stop now. Okay, can we stop? I'm bringing it in. <laughs> I'm using my helmet. Good morning. We have got another adventure today. This is one of our favorite things to do when we come to Cape Cod. In fact, we have to do it like every time we come to Cape Cod. Pretty much every time. We are going bike riding. We're going to rent bikes. Now, here's the story. We used to own bikes. We had them for years. We did all kinds of bikings. We, back, back when our son was with us. We don't carry bikes anymore, though, because they don't survive well. When we've tried them on the front of the RV, they get banged up. We have tried them here on this part of the RV. And different RV, but it punched a hole. <laughs> it punched a hole. Wall. Because when we turn, the trailer likes to come in and it's just too tight of an angle. So that didn't work. And we have tried them in the trailer. And that doesn't work too well either because... Because the trailer gets really packed full of stuff and it gets thrown and around. They get and banged around and yeah. no matter how we tie them, it just, they didn't work. So they got sun damage, they got our banged around damage. So we don't carry them anymore. So whenever we want a bike, we just rent one. That's what we're yeah. doing today. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. Great. Well, we've never ridden a tandem bike before either. This is the first. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to stand in our way. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. You know, one of us have our helmets on. I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> it's a little wobbly at first. How do we stop? Okay. <laughs> I can't stop. That's not fair. It's just like riding a bike. It'll come right back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's escort the monster over to our vehicle. Wish we had uh, a seat for all of you watching. Yeah, you can sit right back here. <laughs> this is going to be an adventure. We have never done a tandem before. It is really bizarre. I'm sure we'll get the hang of it, but uh, I don't like being out of control. That's the truth. <laughs> Okay, feathers getting packed up and we'll be on the trail. The pigtails are not gonna work with the helmet. All right, we got a couple of bandages since you're so concerned about an accident. Me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten used to you uh, driving yet. I haven't gotten used to me driving yet. The one thing hasn't changed, have a backseat driver. Nice. Oh yeah. A good one at that. Ah! <laughs> Our first near accident. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. I don't really even need to hold on. Okay, at least we're going a little faster. The thing is, like, every move you make, I have to kind of anticipate and counter. I am not used to not being in the driver's seat. We're gonna switch. He stopped pedaling. So are you pedaling now too? Yeah, I pedal when you pedal. My mine go when you go. They're in tandem. See what I did there? They're in tandem. Well, I'm not pushing very hard, but my legs are moving. Crossing our first road. Do they stop for us? Or? Those two. Okay, they are. Whoa, we just switched gears. And that looks like the cranberry bog that we toured back on one of our earlier videos. a couple of inches already. Wildlife sanctuary. Hell ahead. So just spinning. There you go. Now you get some traction when you pump. Just drove by a boat. It looks like it's wilting to one side. I just want to check it out. See how it's tilting? It looks like it's falling in, doesn't it? 
It's filled. It's filling. Oh, it's sinking. That's not good. Hey, Brian, I don't even know how to get a hold of him. Do you know this guy's name? Uh-uh. I just moved in. Oh. this house, and I met him. So I've gone there. I banged on the door. I looked for Meal to get a last name. Maybe go to Facebook, but I can't. That's so sad. I mean, it's like... You know what's that boat cost? I mean, that's a piece of junk. That thing's like that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a master crowd. Well, it's stopped. There's not much we can do or anybody can do about it. This neighbor is aware of it and uh, told the guy, you know, I was trying to get a hold of the guy. I can't. There's just nothing to do. It's so sad. He's not going to be happy when he gets back and finds his boat like that. Harder to pedal up here. Uh-huh. It's going to be harder to steer, too. Yeah, because I'm not just... That's, that's why I shifted into different gears than what you're happy with, because I, not only do I have to... Okay, it's all about making me happy, of so... Of course. Why are we even having this conversation? Are you in here? Sure. I think we found our hammock spot. Whoa. We would we biked Cape Cod all the way. Whoa! To Provincetown. <laughs> I got tipped over. All the way to Provincetown. We biked across all of Missouri on the Katy Trail. And we biked from From Pittsburgh to DC. Pittsburgh to DC. What we did when we did the Katy Trail and the Pittsburgh to DC trip is we would swap because the RV had to travel too. So he would bike one day, 35, 50 miles. And 65. Then, you did 65 in one, one day? One day, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I would bike the next day. I think 50 is my most I do. But that, that was a 350 mile trip from Pittsburgh to DC. Yeah, did we, we do it in, I don't remember how many days it took Seven. Us. Seven days, that's what I was going yeah. to say. Yeah. Seven days, so that was quite a trip. We had a great time on that. We got away from each other. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> it was a good trip. We got to drive, most of it was bike path along the uh, CNO Canal. Uh, a lot of history, a lot of sights to see, a lot of variety. Yeah. Whereas the Cape Cod Trail is... It's nice. It's away from the traffic. It's beautiful. There's a lot of greenery, but it's pretty much the same. I don't think there's a lot of variation in what you're seeing. No, not, not unless you take detours. Yeah, and then the Katy Trail, it was storming. There was a lot of downed branches, uh, trees in the, in the way, a lot of puddles. This is my memory from it. Uh, we did it like in June one year. July. July. That's was, right, because we're right over 4th of July. Yeah. Yeah, we have 4th of July off, so yeah. But, but that was all the way from Kansas City to St. Louis. The whole state. Yeah. But it's a nice trail. What I like about that, too, is if you are just doing it and you don't have the RV with you for support, there are places to stay. Um, you can just, you know, you can be biking across with all of your supplies, and there's little cabins you can stay in or people's houses. And So that's a really neat thing about the Katy Trail. Yeah, I remember seeing, on that trail, seeing a uh, historic... Uh, site, Lewis and Clark site. Um, I don't remember the d details Part exactly. Part of the Lewis and Clark Trail. Yeah. yeah. And I passed through the hometown of Pearl White, the silent film star. The shoes are coming off. Yeah. We're getting ready for our nap. It's siesta time. And then we'll turn around and head back to where we started, where we rented the bikes. We may switch drivers. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, chow time. All right, we're on our burritos. It's time for lunch. I feel like I'm being whipped around too. So this is all just seven speed? Yeah. So it, it doesn't get the kind of speed that a regular single What's bike would. Mind? Yeah. I'm driving like a trunk. Trying to get back on. I'm gonna go that way. Okay, my my seat's loose now. Stop, stop. 
Did I not just spin my seat? Are you yeah. handlebar still straight? Yeah. Why is it? I don't know. It's locked. Don't steer. You're not allowed to steer. You just have to hold straight. It's always locked, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Totally small, and I would be. Hungry. I did it. I just passed pedestrians and didn't hit them. I'm feeling good. Oh my gosh! I didn't know that was happening. You have longer arms than I do. I couldn't do that. <laughs> We're gonna have saddled up and thunder thighs. Uh. Mm. Okay, bike. Yeah, yeah ready? <laughs> Let's go. Ed, that's gonna be kind of rough. I, know, yeah, I, I, would, I would say go to the left and then around. That's why I'm driving. Rough this right. is, uh, <laughs> ow. You go where I go, let's go. Oh. To Dennis. Yeah. We're peddling our bike on old Cape Cod. A lot of people must think we look odd. Home again. Home again. Well, I think we learned it's better to have the heavier person in front. Why? I was fine in front or back. It didn't matter to me. Because when the person in front makes some adjustment, there's a whiplash effect. There's always a whiplash effect. Yes, but if there's more weight on the rear, the whiplash is stronger. Like that. You think so? Yep. Hey, fine. We both went half, half and half. And it's, it, it's a kind of a I, I think I prefer the back. I prefer the front, so next but time we'll know what to do. If you have to, you'll have to listen to me talking. <laughs> You're I'm, a lot quieter in the back. You're just along for the ride when I'm in the back. I always, I'll tell on myself. I bring earplugs. <laughs> I know you don't listen, that's why I talk about her. All right, 22 miles later, our first try on the tandem. We did it. And now we're putting our helmets away and we're going home. That's not open. No, Cabela's does not sponsor this video. There we go. Okay, so I got a kickstand I got to get rid of before you go pedaling off. Okay, balance, two feet on the ground. Lean it over so I can get the kickstand. That way? To the right. See, the kickstand's on this side. Oh, okay. So kick it, and I'll stand it. Wow! The kickstand, you got it? Yep. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. No, I don't. Okay, now I do. Oh. <laughs> oh. It is now. Wait, wait. Okay, I gotta get my pills where I want them. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> 